In 1963, Stanley Milgram conducted a number of laboratory experiments testing factors which were believed to affect individuals' level of obedience to a perceived authority figure. The condition of this experiment tested whether people were prepared to obey an order to shock someone in a separate room. Forty men took part in the study, responding to a newspaper advert seeking volunteers for a study on learning and memory. Each received payment for attending, which was not dependent on them proceeding with the experiment. During the experiment, the experimenter wore a grey technician's coat, which would have helped to establish a sense of authority to the participant. The participant was introduced to a confederate, someone working alongside the researcher, who was pretending to be a fellow participant and assigned roles of either teacher or student based upon straws which were drawn by both. This, however, was fixed, fixed to ensure the genuine participant was always assigned the role of teacher. The participant witnessed the confederate being strapped to what appeared to be an electric chair and connected up to shock generators. These were not real, but the participant was under the impression that they were. The participant was presented with a shock machine with switches that ranged from 15 volts, labelled slight shock, all the way up to 450 volts, labelled XXX. The participant proceeded to teach the learner word pairs over an intercom system, and when the learner answered incorrectly, the participant was required to administer an increasing level of shock. After the 300 volt shock, the learner pounded on the wall and made no further responses. If at any time the participant hesitated to administer the shock, one of four prompts was said by the examiner. They were as follows. Please continue. The experiment requires you to continue. It is absolutely essential that you continue. You have no other choice but to continue. Milgram found that none of the participants stopped administering electric shock punishment before it reached 300 volts, which was the point at which the learner banged on the wall, and an incredible 65% as 26 participants administered the full 450 volts despite most participants showing obvious signs of stress such as sweating, groaning and trembling. Milgram concluded that ordinary people will obey orders to hurt someone else, even if it means acting against their own moral standpoint and conscience. Milgram's experiment may have lacked internal validity. Remember, internal validity is the extent to which the results of a study reflect a true representation of the population it studies, as it is possible that participants may not have believed that they were truly inflicting electric shocks to the learner and simply going along with what they believed the experimenter would have expected, thus showing demand characteristics. Milgram, however, contested this as he highlighted the level of distress participants had displayed during the experiment indicated that they believed the pain they were inflicting was genuine. Milgram conducted a laboratory experiment which allowed for good control of the variables, making it possible to establish cause and effect. However, this study lacked ecological validity as it is unlikely that participants would encounter this scenario in everyday life.